Many of the raids in Destiny 2 have become victims of power creep and deep zone crypt is no exception. Nowadays, every boss encounter in this raid is one phaseable by pretty much anything, but that isn't to say there are still some general guidelines to follow when aiming for efficient completions, which is what I'll be going over for you today. Starting things off with crypt security, when aiming for an efficient one phase, you ought to be using Bastion as it can two burst the fuses provided you have literally any buff source. And please, for the love of all that is holy, do not use Xenophage as it is extremely slow by comparison. Moving on to Atrax, you should be aware that at minimum it takes 3 Parasites and 2 Thunder Crashes to achieve the 1 floor kill, but in general it's best to have as many one-off supers as possible, which for Warlocks is Nova Bomb, for Titans is Kuras Thunder Crash, and for Hunters is either Blade Barrage or Celestial Nighthawk. Another cool thing about Atrax is that she cannot be affected by Tractor Cannon, but can be debuffed by any source of Void Weaken, such as from Void Grenades or the Seasonal Artifact with Solar Abilities, making sure everyone is running running Parasite, your kills should resemble the following. Finishing up with Tanix, my friends and I tried various exotic weapons to see how they'd fare and found that Whisper of the Worm is quite a good pick since all you need is one Lunafaction well with Divinity and he dies in two bubbles. Furthermore, we tried Sleeper Simulant which also kills in two bubbles, Xenophage which does the same, and we also tried 1000 Voices though unfortunately with 1k it was a three bubble kill. Finally, if you're looking to be most optimal, a rocket dump setup does wonders and manages to kill in one bubble, even killing before he has a chance to teleport away. In order to get the one bubble kill, all you need is one well, Tractor Cannon, Galahorn, an assortment of damaged supers, and as many bait and switch rocket launchers you can get your hands on. It's around this point specifically when the health bar is at the T in Tanix, you should pop your damaged supers if you want to kill him before he teleports away. If you want to learn more in depth about the raid as a whole, I have an extensive mastery guide on the channel that can teach you everything you'd possibly want to know and more. Anyway, I hope you learned something from this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now, dear viewer.